Hello, everyone. So, there have been reports that J. Ron Curse could be moving to linebacker. So, that being said, Curse is listed at six foot four and two hundred fifteen pounds. So, if he isn't asked to kind of bulk up for the position, going from safety to linebacker, he's going to be used exclusively as a coverage backer, like that passing down linebacker. And I do think he showed some progress last year, and he was also able to keep George Iloka on the bench. Whether that was because Curse was progressing or Iloka regressed, we don't really know right now. But that is what it is. And he, for what it's worth, he was Minnesota's go-to guy last year when it came to trying to nullify tight ends and coverage. And I think he did do fairly well for the most part. And he did have a rocky start, but I still think if you consider the whole season, I think he did okay, and he's kind of he did fairly well, like I said. And this switch could simply just to get him closer to his assignment, whether or not just the tight ends, in, or he could be a bigger part of the defense in 2019 than we all originally thought. And this could be just a ploy to get him more involved. And keep in mind, the one the one way I do think this could happen is with Anthony Barr's new contract, there's nearly $10 million in SAC incentives. Meaning, we could see him rush the passer more, and he's nearly 6'5", Barr. With Curse being 6'4", if you start moving down Barr as a more of a true defensive end, you could play J. Ron Curse there and not really lose that height that you might like in the coverage aspect where he's just a giant tree in the middle. And it's kind of nice to have that option considering how much he did progress last season and you would probably anticipate him taking another step in coverage where that was kind of an issue the other years, but now it's kind of rounding into form here. And what this could also do is just mainly just versatility because I doubt this would be a full-time switch to linebacker. We could be seeing him kind of become uh, almost the Swiss army knife in this defense where he's moving. Maybe he's going to be weak side linebacker. He'll be strong safety. He could be a free safety. He's played some nickel last year as well. So you could be moving him everywhere, potentially, depending on your situation. And if they trust him with that, it'll be interesting to see where that comes in. But he could be a very versatile piece that could add some added uh, flares to this defense, if you will, that we might not have foreseen otherwise. I also think this move would answer some of the questions I've had when it came to why are we still adding safeties? Because we signed Darren Smith out of the AAF. He was one of the higher graded players of the entire league. And they drafted Marcus Epps a few days ago. He's a sixth round safety out of Wyoming. And they just recently signed Marshawn Diggs. Yes, that is relation to Stefan. And he was a UDFA guy out of UAB. So... I think it does answer that question, at least, because they might be viewing Curse as a linebacker. Now, I just have my questions as to, do they want to make a full-time switch? Is it a hybrid thing? I assume it would be a hybrid. But I also think this might be a move to move out, well, to move around bar more. Because, once again, that contract tells me they're going to try to at least rush him more, unless that was all kind of a thing to get him back into Minnesota, take him away from the Jets saying, oh no, we'll rush you more and then just never rush him more. But I I doubt they would do that. I think if they told him, oh no, we're going to use you this way, they're probably going to try to use him that way. And Zimmer has said throughout this offseason that they're looking to do some different things on defense, which he says every year, but I don't know. We'll see. I think Barr being part of that is probably a big part of that. And I know this is kind of one of those shorter videos again, but I thought this was a little interesting tidbit, little 
thing. And like know what your guys' comments are down in the section below. And until next time, I've been Jelly Doom.